ici, c'est un beau geste, assurément. Something I can help you with? What is this place? It connects to the Sanctuary. Less flashy than the Saint-Chapelle entrance, but we own the building. Used to be part of our intelligence network. But the place has fallen on hard times. How can I help? I'll keep an ear out for any opportunities that come up. You might also speak to the Intendant about renovating the building itself. I'm not exactly flush with coin just now. Any revenues the cafe generates are yours to do with as you see fit. The money is deposited in the chest in the study, and the more improvements you make... The more revenue. Quite. You might also find that expanding our reach into other districts will pay dividends. Merci. It seems that workmen renovating the main wing found a small room hidden behind the kitchen. Its contents may be of interest to you. The previous owners must have walled off a room in the main hall. Perhaps you'd be interested in what they found.
Paris, September 23rd, 1788. Dear Arno, I never thought I could be so bored in Paris. Can you imagine it? The greatest city in the world, and here I am, stuck in endless lectures from dawn to dusk. It's worse than that winter we spent in Strasbourg. Do you remember? When it snowed for a week straight, and we couldn't leave the house, and all the books in the library were in German. <laughs> we convinced that cook the house was haunted by some young Frankish prince. And the poor man refused to leave his kitchen without a rosary in one hand, and a Bible in the other. I miss those days. The things I'm learning from father's friends are... Well, I wish I could tell you about them. Someday, perhaps. But not now. And not like this. But still, I find myself missing those days. Missing home. Missing you. Next time father comes to Paris, you must persuade him to bring you along. I remain always your, Elise. Oh, Arno. What have you done? I know we didn't part on the best of terms, but to go running to the assassins? My father kept you away from them for a reason. Their creed is like wine, sweet enough at first blush, and in moderation it makes life seem more bearable. But drink too deeply, and you find naught but madness and anarchy. No doubt they've already filled your mind with tales of how dreadful we Templars are, that we would make slaves of humanity, and place our boots on the world's neck. You knew my father, and you know me. I can only pray that is enough to give the lie to those tales. My order has turned against me, and I am hunted by those I once called friend. I could not bear it if you turned against me also. Think of me, and be well, Elise. Arno and Elise. What cheer, Arno? You look terrible. For months, I have been wrangling the Brotherhood, the National Assembly, and the King. Taken all together, they have the political acumen of an especially stupid village council. I believe that excuses my appearance, young man. I meant no disrespect, Mentor. I am only concerned. Forget me, Arno. Weep for France. But enough politics. I hope you have happier news. What of Lord de Lesser's murderers? The King of Beggars is dead. He was carrying this. Oppose on pay. You should keep it. It'll do no one any good moldering in a forgotten crypt. Carry it with honor. Thank you. I will. The mission. The King of Beggars and Sivert were only pawns in a larger game. Someone sent them after Monsieur de la Serre. Templars do nothing simply, do they? 
Do you have anything solid on this mysterious chess player? The only lead I have is the instrument that killed De La Serre, a pin fashioned by a silversmith named Germain. But how he's involved, I can't yet say. It seems your course is clear. Find the silversmith, learn what part he plays. Impressive, no? What is it? An heirloom of the Brotherhood. That armor was worn by Thomas de Corneille. I have no earthly idea who that is. He led the raid that captured Jacques de Molay, broke the Templar's power in Europe for over a century. It used to be that an assassin who did a great service for the Brotherhood and for France would be given his armor in thanks. The seal that opens the vault was lost 200 years ago. It hasn't been opened since. I can see why calling a locksmith was out of the question. Tell me about this seal. It consisted of three rings, one for each of the three doors, but the seal was broken before it was lost. The fragments are no doubt scattered around Paris, with only the vaguest clues as to their whereabouts. And if someone would find all of them, would you say that he had done a great service for the Brotherhood in France? I suppose I would at that.
Well, that's not suspicious, is it? Something's going on. This is bad. Hey, show yourself. Where's the cat? I want to win this now. now. Bloody hell. It's right in 
front of me.
Monsieur Germain, Silversmith. Thank God. They've been holding me for months. Please, get me out of here. First, I need to know about this. No time. I'll tell you all I know once we're away. But we must leave before the guards return. Fine, let's go. No! They'll be watching the front entrance. We'll have to go downstairs and across. Follow me, then, and stay quiet. Stay there. Hold a moment. Wait here. This way. As you say. Keep one eye to the roofs. 
They often post sentries there as well. Just how important are you as a prisoner? Change of plans. No need to do anything foolish. Let the silversmith go. Stay back. Be good. What have I done? Only what you had to. Come, we must go. Yes, of course. Thank you, my friend. You've done me a great service today. Perhaps you can return the favor. Yes, of course. May I? I made the first some years ago on a private contract for a man called Lafreniere. That seemed an unusual commission. I confess curiosity got the better of me. Recently, I started to look into Lafreniere's background and what I discovered you wouldn't believe it. He's a Templar. Is that what you found? Yes. I, I believe so. I didn't know how to take it. In any case, I was careless, and the friend here found out about my schemes. Kept me in the house arrest ever since. I do as he bids. Weapons, mostly. Where can I find him? Well, the friend here is a very difficult man to pin down. Not long ago. I overheard him talking about protecting the shipments at La Alloble. Sounded ominous, whatever he meant. Now I ask, why are you so interested in him? He killed someone very dear to me. I want to know why. I see. You have my sympathies. They will come looking for you again. Make yourself scarce. Yes, I believe I might. 